Link. Link. Wake up, Link. Pull yourself together, Link. Well, have you come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull-witted. <laughs> Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the King of Red Lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Link. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him. The shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods, attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm that the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Link, do you still wish to save your sister from him? And will you do anything to save her? I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, uh, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but... Although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, Surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. And we are here. Welcome to Windfall Island. And welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Last time, we, you know, played a game with Nico. And then made it an attempt to save our sister from the Forsaken Fortress. However, it was very short-lived. That monstrous bird came in and took us away. And because of his master, that the King of Red Lions has informed us, his name is Ganon, threw us into the sea. And we ended up here with the King of Red Lions. 
And as he said, he, he needs a sale, so this time we're going to be going and getting him a sale here on Windfall. And we're also going to be exploring a little bit and doing a few things, because this is, you know, our first big st uh, stop on our, you know, journey. And so we might as well see what we can do here. So first off, we do need to go find a sale. So I think our best bet would be to find a shop. I keep running into a wall. So, anyway. Uh, just trying to explore here. Trying to find some things, like some rupees. Ooh, 20 rupees. I'm going to drop down, and I failed. No, the 20 rupees might, are, is going to go away. Aw. It's like the game wanted to torture me. I should have known. But, okay. Now that we're back over here, I'm going to guess take the rupees we can find here, as well as this one. And it does appear that there's a shop right here. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away. A land where the blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. Dear me, my ship was torn apart by vicious winds, and this island is where I washed ashore. There was one other person with me, yes there was, but I dare say, he was immediately arrested based on his somewhat suspicious looks and thrown right into jail. Yes, just locked up somewhere on this island. Needless to say, I'm really worried about him. Would you be so kind as to help free him from captivity? Indeed, it would be appreciated. And the same green hat! By the look of you, I'd say... Sir! Could you by chance be... A fairy? Goodness! Did you feel my telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry! Tingle knows without you telling him, sir! Yes, sir! Tingle is my name! I have been looking for you and your kind, for I, too, long to be one of the fairy folk. And yet, I was mistaken for some kind of troublemaker, and put into this dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful! Please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle from this place, and take him to where you and your kind live in splendor! Um, okay... Well, we can, you know, give it a shot. Uh, there are a bunch of pots here. They don't appear to have anything in them. Exception to, you know, a few rupees here and there. And we can't use our swords, so we can't exactly do anything. Oh, but it does appear that there is a switch over here. So let's go ahead and press it. much. Here is Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Tingle, Tingle, Kululim, become an item. All right, we get the Tingle bottle. Ah! 
Ah! I was forgetting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy, you want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? You also get the Tingles chart. If you ever need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't ever forget it. All right, so on uh, on the uh, you know Wii U gamepad, which I'm actually just gonna go ahead and record it there is we actually get a little message here talking about sending letters here through, you know, Meverse. Sadly, the Meverse service is dead. But it's just going to tell you this, and it'll say, you know, like, give you options, which obviously I'm not going to choose anything because, you know, like I said, the Meverse service is dead. But, anyway, now that uh, I don't know why it's... Hasn't paused out of that, but anyway, like he said there at the end, one, go ahead and grab this rupee, but he said that we should search behind here. So let's go ahead and push this out of the way, and here we'll find a uh, little cave. So let's go ahead and explore said cave. I want to take some different pathways. I don't know why I didn't move there for a second, that was weird. Um, go this way, go here, let's try this way, and this way. Don't want to take that way, because those wooden spaces are actually bad for us, but I'll show what they do in a little bit. Just keep going. Get a rupee. And come through this way and here we will find a treasure chest and a bunch of stuff ooh rupees I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna real quick like pick through this stuff just because if there's rupees you know like I said we're going to be needing money and we're actually windfall is the first place we are going to be needing uh, money because there's something coming up that I want to take care of that involves uh, you know depending on how well you do with it can evolve a lot of money okay there we go let's go ahead and read these data known at last I succeeded in stealing a picto box I had desired for so long succeeded yes but sadly due to a slight mistake on my part I was also caught I have been in prison but do not give in easily I refuse to give this wonderful Wondrous box to my capsters. I have decided to hide it here in the depths of my cell, and yes, make my escape by tunneling out. Yes, that is my plan. Of course, I have, if I ever successfully escape from this prison, I shall one day return to recover the Picto box. I, I will write the controls for it in case I should forget them. Set it to Y, X, and R, or R on the item screen, and press A to snapshots. L and R also work. Use the, the control stick to zoom in and out. Press ZR to switch it from its delightful pictograph viewing mode and saves up to 12 photographs at a time. Oh, how it pains me to leave it. Just wish I could get out of here so I can start taking pictographs. Alright, well, I guess that kind of gives it obviously what's inside this chest. It's the Picto Box. Alright, let's go ahead and, I guess, since I'm not going to be planning on using the telescope for a while, let's go ahead and set it to our Y button. And now, we want to get out of here, but we don't want to go all the way back to the, uh, all the way back to the cell. So, if we come up on these wooden spots, we'll find these mice, and they will... Pull a string that will send us through the floor. Where exactly does this send us? Right in front of the King of Red Lions. Kind of weird, huh? Especially since like there's no openings right above us that show that we came through a hole. It's really weird. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Uh, 
No, I don't want to talk to you. But no, let's go ahead and continue over back to that man's sh uh, shop and tell him that we have, you know, found his friend, saved his friend, and he should be able to help us with what we need. So, I think it's right here. Really? You have rescued him? That is news I deem rather great. You are one stand-up individual, indeed you are. Now, I apologize as I have but another favor. I'm actually considering starting up a little shop here on the island, but I'm having trouble funding my venture. I have but one asset to my name. I wonder if you might buy it from me, perhaps. The people on this island have no interest in venturing out on these dangerous seas, so my chance of selling it to them is rather bleak. The bleakest I can describe. I'd really like to ask 200 rupees for it, but as a favor for rescuing my friend, perhaps we may strike a deal. How does 80 rupees sound? Yes, yes, yes! Thank you very much indeed! I have received precisely 80 rupees for it! I can use these funds to finance my new business! Oh dear me, what a happy day! Very well, young master. As I promised, please take that! Alright, yes, we get yes, the yes. boat sail! You have made a good purchase today, my young master. And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sail in the world. Treat it as such. Alrighty. Yep, we got a sail. And now we can use it to sail the great seas. However, we are not going to be doing that. I also like how I randomly stopped in front of a, uh, in front of a or a wall for no apparent reason but no we're not going to be doing that because as i said there are a few things that we want to take care of here on windfall and because we want to take care of said things i think i'm gonna go around and we're gonna take care of everything that i want to do on windfall but i don't think we're gonna take knock it out all in specifically in this episode just because there is a lot of things we want to do but I just you know don't want to take too long with some of them so why don't we actually take out the f one of the first things and it's gonna be very simple very quick very easy so let's go ahead and come in here Welcome to Miss Marie's School of Pl Joy. I don't think I've ever seen your face around here before, my young scholar. Are you a new pupil? Okay, I think I might have needing to activate this quest. It actually involves a few more steps. Okay. So, let's go actually go out and talk to these little kids. This town is our turf. The turf of the world-famous killer bees. Don't mess with us. Yeah, buzz buzz. Hey, it's cause you're, it's just cause you're, you're older. Don't think you, don't think you make it, that makes you tough or anything. I don't think that was, I think that wasn't meant to be an it's just, it is just because you're older. I don't know if that's just like mistranslated or something. What can I do for you on this fine day? I know I may look a bit flashy for a teacher, but I assure you I am one. How long has it been since I opened my school here on Windfall? 20 years? Well, since then I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. But I do have a rather joyless problem. There's a delinquent gang of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. Even though I wait patiently for those boys to show up, they never come. It's as if they don't want joy in their hearts. Could you please catch their leader? that little boy named Ivan, and talk some sense into him for me. Please, young man, for me? Oh, thank you so much. You're such a dear. They're such a troublesome little boys. Oh, they're such troublesome little boys. I'm at my wit's end over how to handle them. But they won't be so mean to a boy their own age, will they? I think that... I should think not. Good luck, young boy. 
Our young man, I guess. Alright, so let's go ahead and head out and now talk to Ivan. For if we should do so... Yeah! Yo, bud, you got a problem with us killer bees, huh? Do ya? Don't tell me it's that anno annoying hag of a teacher again, is it? You came here to give us a talking to because Miss Marie asked you to, right? Tell us not to skip school, right, bud? Tell us not to be tardy, right, bud? Well, forget about all that. We're the mighty and invincible gang of the four, the killer, b killer bees. Do you think we'd listen to a chump like you? Hmm, but I will tell you what, bud. If you want to challenge us to a competition, then we'll think about maybe listening a little bit. What do you say, bud? Do you want to challenge us? Okay, your funeral, bud. The rules are simple. We're going to go hide somewhere, and if you find us, we're going to run. You got to try to catch us. Easy as that, bud. We won't hide indoors or nothing, and we won't leave this island. So look for us around in the shadows and behind buildings and stuff. If you catch all four of us, we lose. You got it, bud? Ready? Go! Alrighty, so now we have to go find these guys. And where are them? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Here's one. And it's basically like if you ever played as a kid, if you ever played a uh, hide and go seek, like, you ever played hide and go seek tag? This is basically what this is. You find them, but you have to chase them and catch them. You're awesome! Thank you. Yeah, it's that's basically what it is. And yes, don't worry, as I just saw there, there's Ivan. But I save Ivan for last every time I play this game. So I'm gonna still do that. Just because, you know, he is the leader, so it makes sense. I'm not meaning to talk to you, buddy. Sorry. I wasn't meaning to do it. So, let's go ahead and find our next guy who is hiding behind this uh, tombstone, I think it is. Tombstone, gravestone, either or. There he is, and we gotta catch him. Alrighty, let's go ahead and boom, catch him. God, you got me. Alright, that's two out of three. Our next one's going to be a little trickier, and it's understandable if you'd actually miss it. Like, if you actually... I guess not it. He's not an it. He's a him. But, uh... It's understandable if you miss where he is, because, it, you know, it's not something you'd really expect. But our next little boy is hiding over on the other side of this building. Yep, right here. And he's going to jump down to where that other boy jumped down to. And so, like just like the others, we have to go chase after him. But he is in the same relative place, so he should be a little easier. Go ahead and grab these rupees. And let's go roll and catch him. Bam. Aw, oh, lame. Alright, and Ivan's the last one. How do we get Ivan out of this tree? Well... Let's go ahead and bonk, or not, you know, I don't want to run into that guy. That guy is uh, not a great character that I like, and he'll try to catch me. But you just need to roll into the tree, because then Ivan will just fall down. Alrighty, and then all we gotta do is go and catch him. Boom. Ah, oh, you got me. Uh, I can't believe it. You found all four of us, and you caught us all, too. Talk about utter defeat. Looks like we lost our touch, killer bees. I guess maybe it's time we chilled out. From now on, we won't cause mo no more trouble for anyone. And to reward your hide-and-seeking skills, here, take this, bud. We get a piece of heart. Huh? Or, uh, I said that wrong. Uh, this is our favorite possession, but you've proven that you're worthy. To our bud, the hide-and-seek master. 
Oh, and one more thing. We need you to apologize to Miss Marie for us. Alright? We're counting on you, bud. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and go apologize, I guess. What can I do for you on this fine day? You did it, didn't you? You said something to those delinquents for me, didn't you, dear? You can't fool me. I watched it all from our sh from the shadow of my door. You are really are a dear. I didn't even read the rest of that. Oops. Anyway, she gives us a purple rupee, which is worth 50. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. Alrighty then. Um, there are some things that we can still do with Miss Marie, and we will come back and do those. It's just that the uh, things that we need for them are actually not something we have obtained. Well, technically, actually, yes, we did. N not in the last episode, but uh, this is actually going to introduce them to us, even if I have caught them before. Excuse me. Hey, sounds like you apologized to, to the teach for us. Good old Miss Marie. And speaking of, bud, do you know that it's going to be Miss Marie's birthday soon? Boss, oh boss. You think maybe we should give her some kind of present or something? Don't be stupid. We're the killer bees. We ain't no teacher's pet. Yeah, but the teach loves jewelry and junk more than anything else in the world. What's she into these days? What'd she call them? Joy pendants? Really? Where do you find them? Are they just lying around? If we could just find some, we could give them to teach as a present and she'd be all happy. Hey, now that I think about it, when I was climbing trees the other day, I saw some sparkling light up top of some tree in town. Where was that? Maybe that's one of the pendants. What do you think, boss? Nah, that's crazy talk. Well, let's go ahead and check around some trees, because we already know that it wouldn't be the tree that uh, Ivan was in, because he said he was climbing trees. So let's go ahead and just knock around some of these bigger trees. And see what we can find. So obviously it's not this tree. So the only other really other tree that we have to look at is this tree. And yep, we get a joy pendant. We can keep it in our spoils bag. Yo, bud, looks like you found yourself a joy pendant. Solid work. Actually, I, I gotta admit... We hid that thing up in the tree. We thought you might find it. Listen up. It's going to be Miss Marie's birthday soon. We were thinking of giving her a present. So it was good that we finally got our hands on that thing. But we ain't going to gonna be going around giving presents to people. No way. That just don't fit the Killer Bee's style. Come on, bud. Can't you give it to teach for us? Can't you? And it's not like we could just ask anybody to do it for us, neither. It's got to be someone reliable who can keep a secret. You're the only one we could ask, bud. I guess so. But yeah, we just obtained a joy pendant that is a one of a f many collectibles here on, or not here on Windfall, I don't know why I said here on Windfall, but like in the game. And something to note is that if I take my spoils bag out, I actually have two of them. That is because after the error that I got, you know, in last episode, um, Basically, what I did was I was trying to re-record that ending bit where it's like the cutscene and everything, and I just kept getting an error, so I re I uninstalled the game, reinstalled it, and that fixed the problem. And with that, I was also replaying through the entirety of the Forsaken Fortress, and that came with getting a joy pendant from one of the enemies. So that's why I already have one, even though we technically didn't pick one up, we didn't have that luck last episode. Just, you know, make note of that. But, anyway, with that, that's our first collectible here. We have our heart, you know, our first heart piece from Windfall and uh, from this visit. And we have the sail, which will now allow us to sail off to the, you know, to the open seas. But we're not done here. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda with a Wind Waker. We're going to go around Windfall and take care of a few more side quests and a few more little things that I want to take care of before we head off to the Great Sea. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, troops out a ton. Make sure to subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you haven't already. And I will see you guys all later.